Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of Black Ops 2 Analysis. You guys seem to be really enjoying the series with all the likes that are being left on the video so I'm going to keep making this series because I really enjoy making it. So this week's episode will actually be about the various types of lethal equipment in the game. The Grenade, Semtex, Combat Axe, Bouncing Betty, C4 and Claymore. So let's start with a classic frag grenade. This has shown up in pretty much every first person shooter game ever. It's simple, easy to use, and normally the starter grenade. So you can actually cook this grenade for up to 5 seconds before it explodes to control where you want it to land, when you want it to explode, so you can really control how you use this grenade. So now onto the Semtex. The Semtex is thrown similar to the frag grenade. But the unique thing about the Semtex is you can actually stick it to objects or players or objectives. This helps you get a much more accurate throw, so you can save objectives or just stick it to an enemy player. So you can actually cook the Semtex as long as you like, the explosion countdown won't start until you throw it. Which again gives it more flexibility and control and accuracy. So now onto the Combat Axe. So the Combat Axe actually has appeared in every single Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2. Although it has different names like the Throwing Knife. So the Combat Axe is a throwable axe or tomahawk that you can quickly throw at an enemy and get an instant kill. Although this does take a lot of accuracy and a lot of the time it will miss. For me the Combat Axe is more about having a little bit of fun and maybe going for some cool montage clips over a reliable backup utensil. So now onto the bounce. Bouncing Betty which is notorious for being very annoying. So the Bouncing Betty is placed onto the ground and is activated when an enemy walks past or close to it. It fires up into the air affecting everybody in a circle radius. The unique thing about the Bouncing Betty is that it will explode at head height. So if you're standing up it will kill you, if you're crouched it will damage you but it won't kill you and if you're lying prone it won't affect you at all. So you can counter the Bouncing Betty by going prone as soon as you hear the noise that the Bouncing Betty makes when it fires up into the air. Although this doesn't always work as you might not be quick enough. The Bouncing Betty is more suited towards a defensive playstyle. And now for my personal favourite, the C4. Also having showed up in a lot of other Call of Duties, this is one of the more popular choices. So the C4 is tossed just like all the other options, but what makes the C4 unique is that you can detonate it at any time you want. This makes it ideal for defending objectives from a distance. You can detonate the C4 by using the detonator or you can double tap your X button or whatever equivalent button you have on your controller and that will detonate it straight away with no animation at all. Now the C4 is probably the most effective in Black Ops 2 because of its high damage and fast throwing time. And last but not least we have the Claymore. You simply place this into the ground and wait for an unexpected enemy to walk past and get blown up. It only blows up in one direction so it's good for putting in doorways and in high traffic areas. So that's all the equipment covered. So really it's all up to personal choice which one you choose. If you have a favourite post that in the comments. Also if you want me to cover any other guns or anything else in Black Ops 2 then post that in the comments also. But thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my personal channel. Thank you and goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>